My name is Louis O'Connor. I'm the clinical lead physiotherapist for the regional trauma unit in the Royal Victoria Hospital in the Belfast Trust. We've had the Alter G on loan for the last three months. And during that period of time, we've had a number of patients who have trialled the machine from ankle injuries to knee injuries to hip injuries, pelvic injuries. But there's been also a number of patients with neurological weakness, patients who have had strokes. We've had some patients who have had head injuries and medical issues. So probably in effect, there's been close to nearly 200 patients have trialled it during the three month period that it's been here. The consultants are always very wary about weight bearing with those injuries and you wouldn't encourage patients with intraarticular fractures to push it. But because he can offload the weight in the machine, it automatically makes it much more comfortable for him to run. It works both ways for them. It stops all the immobilisation effects of not being able to do something, but what it also does is it stresses the bone enough to allow it to sort of stimulate healing a bit better. Okay. Right, so we'll hit start and just calibrate it. The whole thing for me was when I got on the Ultra G, I was told that, you know, it's less weight burn. It was kind of, it's a surreal feeling the first time I get on because of the fact that, you know, you nearly feel like you're floating when you've only 20% body weight. And it was a case of I was like nearly feeling like an Olympic athlete because I was able to, I could have just basically floated along and I was running. And because I hadn't ran for like months, it was nearly a, a surreal feeling being able to run as opposed to being scared of getting on the machine. It was nearly like, oh, this can't be happening. This, I can't be doing this now at this stage, you know. Um, I had a car accident two years ago, um, which left me uh, severely disabled in terms of broken ankles, broken legs, broken and dislocated hips. And in the last two months, I was introduced to the Alter G, which brought me from a position where I was only able to walk 30 metres unaided to eventually being able to walk 1.6 kilometres in 30 minutes. And he's, he's you know, a young man with family and kids and he, he wants to be active, but his, the nature of his, his conditions would really struggle to allow him to do things which he would deem active enough. So some of our patients would say with a true dislocation of the knee where they've ruptured anterior posterior cruciate medial ligament, um, it was not uncommon for those patients to be rehabbed over an 18 month period um, and what we're seeing is that by using the Alter G it may bring six months or nine months potentially off that rehab period because they've been able to wake very earlier and they've got um, more function in an earlier stage so the, the length of time is significantly improved. But we've also had lots of people who have felt that as a result of using the Alter G their range of movement has significantly improved their mental well-being has significantly improved, so people who wouldn't normally be able to walk have been walking with it. People who wouldn't normally be able to run have actually been using the treadmill to do things that they wouldn't have planned to do, and their injuries may actually have curtailed them to do. The psychological benefit in that has been remarkable, and I think these, some of these patients have been patients that have haven't weight there in years, and to within a period of eight to ten weeks start to weight bear in the Alter G and then transfer that carryover onto dry land. That's been actually quite a phenomenal sort of change around. 30 or 40% of knee dislocations have amputations. So the, the worst part for me was waking up after the operation. The first job was when I was coming around, just look under the covers to see if the leg was still there. Um, Louis, the physio here, was looking after me. I'd, was working on it constantly manually and it was getting a little bit better but it sort of reached a plateau. As soon as we started using the Alter G, Louis done some manual work as soon as he took me off it and within two or three minutes the two of us just smiled because straight away it had started moving again. And the surgeon that looked after me has been down looking at this machine and he's realising now both with the dislocation that he's gone through with me that all, all is to play for because even after the operation he was very negative about thinking that I'd never get back on the bike, that that was just way too ambitious. I think that particular surgeon, um, he's got his eyes open with what's possible. I think if a lot of other guys knew what was available out there and what can be done, I think it's, it would make a big difference. It's been an invaluable resource really and I feel even for Paul in the early stages, when Paul came to me he wasn't allowed to wait bear for three months. So we were very, very limited in here with what we could do. So if we had the Alter G at that time, they probably would have been up walking normally much earlier. Being able to run again, you know, confidently has really, really helped me. It's brought a, brought a smile to my face. 
I think £30,000 in the NHS climate isn't an awful lot of money when you consider where money's spent in other ways and the benefit to these patients. It's been the one thing that has given me confidence above anything else, you know, and the physio and stuff is, you know, is a very important, but this machine, you know, tops everything. If we can obtain the funds for it, we would be purchasing the unit as quickly as we could.